Hey guys, in this video we're going to be proving that the angle, subs the angle subtended of a semicircle is always a right angle. So in other words, I'm basically going to be proving that if you have a semicircle and you have a triangle and it has these edges here, no matter where you put this um, point on the arc, this will always be a right angle. So how would you even start doing a proof like this? Well, the best way to prove this is using vectors. So Let's say we had a vector, so this is the origin of the circle, okay? So let's just say this was a vector in this direction, so this will say, let's say, vector A, okay? And let's say this one was vector, um, let's say, uh, let's say B, okay? Now, because it's a semicircle, the length of vector A is exactly the same of the length of vector B. So these bars around it mean the length of the vectors. Now, let's say we had a vector to this third point here. Let's say this vector was like, I don't know, C. Let's say. Um, and we also know that the length of vector C is also the same because that would be the radius, that would also be the radius, and that would also be the radius, okay? And let's label these points. So let's label this point, let's say, actually, let's switch these around just so I can label things um, better. So let's just say this was the other way. Let's say this was point A, B, and C. Now, let's try and find an expression for this side length here, okay? So this side length vector here, so we want to find what this vector here would be. Now this vector would be, um, let's say the vector from, let's say A to C. So we want to find this vector here, okay? So the vector from A to C is going to be the vector, well, A, so you have to go, oh well, negative A, so you have to go this way, plus the vector C, okay? Now, let's try and find an expression for this vector here. So let's say the vector from, I don't know, C to B, so this way. So, the way we find that is we start from C, go back this way, so it's going to be negative C plus B. Now, if this is a right angle here, no matter what, then the dot product of A to C with um, C to B should be zero. Because if you recall, if you have A dotted with B, that's equivalent to the length of A multiplied by the length of B, the cosine of the angle between them. Now, if this A dotted with B is equal to zero, this implies two things. Well, well, if this implies A, if um, A and B aren't zero vectors, so they don't have zero, zero, zero in I, J, and K, then this needs to be some number. This also needs to be some number. And this would imply this angle here needs to be 90 degrees. Because cos of 90 degrees is zero. So, if we have, all right, A to C dotted with C to B, that's going to give us this expression here. So, negative A plus c to b, uh, c, uh, uh, plus vector c, dotted with negative c plus b, okay? Now, we know that because this is in the same, like, this is the same length as b, b is just in the opposite direction of a. So, in other words, B is actually negative A. So we can replace that with negative A. So we can say, all right, this is going to be negative A plus C dotted with negative C plus negative A. Now the dot product works distributedly. Now if you dot these together, what you're going to get is pretty much the length of C all squared minus the length of A all squared. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the other way around. So that'll be negative, because it'll be distributive. So you dot the things together, that work, okay? Now, we said that the length of C and A are exactly the same length. So this length is equal to this length, but this is negative, so this implies this has to be zero. So in other words, this vector here dotted with this vector here is zero. Therefore, this needs to be nine degrees. 
and that's the proof that the angle substandard of a semicircle is always a right angle.